What's up guys, it's Nate from Nate Bauer Fitness and right now you're about to check out the 30 minute heavy bag hit workout. It's session number two. Now I'm, now I'm gonna be straight up with you guys. This session absolutely destroyed me today. Yesterday I did a killer kettlebell workout. It was aggressive, it was just full out. Not suspecting I was gonna film today. Regardless, I just want to give props to you guys, my subscribers and my listeners, because you guys telling me that I push you through workouts inspired me to push through my session today. So I want to give props to you guys for telling me exactly how I push you, because that inspired me to push through my workout today, because I was lagging from set number one. So mad respect to you guys. If you're a new subscriber or if you're a new viewer, what you need for this session is just a pair of gloves, obviously a heavy bag, a lot of ambition, and a little bit of space. Now, the key to this one is you're gonna work one minute as hard as you can with 30 seconds of moderate work in between, nonstop for 30 minutes. Now, straight up, the first time you do this, for a lot of you guys, it's gonna be really hard. You might not finish, or you might need some longer breaks. That's all good. The second time, you push a little bit further. The third time, no excuses, get it done, all right? That's kind of the gold standard of how these workouts should be done. So, get your gloves on, get your wraps on, Walk up to this heavy bag, listen to my cues, and let's get this done. And remember, like, subscribe, share, and let's take this channel to 100,000 subs and above. I'll see you at the end of the workout. All right, let's go. Round number one. Your one minute piece, your aggressive piece is two, three, two. Your 30 second piece is a two, cover, one, one, cover. First up, one minute, two, three, two. Go to work. And just like that, let your hands go and let's hit this killer hit workout on the heavy bag. 30 minutes, all out, all good. I want your breathing relaxed just like your hands. You see I move around the bag a little bit halfway. You gotta think about a little bit of movement as you do these and uh, continuously dive into that heavy bag. Every set, like it's your first. Every set, like it's your last. That's just the way it works. 10 seconds. Two, three, two. Two, three, two. Two, three, two. Three, two, one. 30 seconds. Two, Cover, one, one, cover. Now work that combo, just a nice moderate pace. Here you kind of let your arms really relax. You're always thinking about your next set. You're always thinking about going back to work. Every set. Five seconds, we're gonna move back into your two, three, two. All right, let's go. Two, three, two, hammer it out, guys. Second set, go. Two, three, two, two, three, two, two, three, two. Non stop. Chin down, hands up, on your legs. Get those hands out there. Remember, Every rep is your first and your last. Halfway. Meaning you do not slow down. You don't think about the next set. You don't think about the previous set. You go maximum with every one minute piece. 15 seconds. In your head, think rhythm. Da, 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 da. Whatever you need to do to get those hands moving at the same pace. Every time and then you can increase that tempo in your head if you need to 30 seconds two cover one one cover after every punch cover change direction think about your next set coming up 15 seconds we go again We go again in five seconds. This is your last 
round of this set of your 232. Ready? Go for it. Hammer it. 232, full out. Let's go to work. Come on. You ever heard me say pick it up 5%? Yeah, you probably have, so do it. If you haven't, now you know. 5% more, come on. Snap that hook across. Whip that right hand in there. Breathe with your movement. When your shoulders get tired, use your core. Fifteen seconds. When your shoulders get tired, use your core. Five seconds in our last round of two cover, one, one cover. Let's do it. Two cover, one, one cover. Two cover, one, one, cover, two. All right, think of it that way. And then we'll move on to your second set. Five seconds left though, so continue to work. Again, it's always nice to have a little extra movement. Here we go, round number two. Let's keep on keeping on, crew. We have a one, two, three body four body so it's two up top two down low for your first piece one two three four one two three four now i want speed here dig into the rib cage one two three four one two three four you're working those the rib cage getting them to drop their hands now dig in here Break down their shoulders so you can dig into those ribs. Breaking them down, making them tired from working the body. 15 seconds. Come on, less than five. 30 seconds, slip, left, right, right, left, and move a little bit. But again, you're not just slipping, think about something's coming at you. So you're slipping the jab, you're slipping the cross, you can slip a double jab, you can slip a double right hand, you can throw some parries in there. Changing direction again, as they change angles, you change angles. And move around the bag and show me your slips. Moderate work, done, let's go. One minute, one, two, three body, four body, non-stop. Dig in, speed, see look, faster, 10% more. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. That's the speed you're at, come on, dig in. Don't let me show you up, I want you to work faster than me. If it's not hard to this point, you're not working hard enough, come on. Head body. Dig in. More than halfway done. Fifteen seconds. Own this round. Ten seconds. Five seconds. Not many people out there have done hit workouts on the heavy bag. This is kind of a first, you guys, so. All right, let's go. Slipping. So what's cool about this is, is that we can kind of change the way people do heavy bag workouts. We can show you pretty sick hit training on the bag. Then we can eventually, we'll add some stuff and we can do hit with shadow boxing and heavy bag work. So we're changing the game a little bit. 
And that's the whole idea of the creativity and killer workouts on this channel so we can always mix it up and give you guys new stuff. But for now, go back to work. One, two, three body, four body, max. Go, dig. No excuses to be slow here. Dig in. Fast up top, fast down low. Come on, your shoulders are not tired. I know you're thinking, you're thinking about it, but keep going. Come on, work. Halfway, now you can push a little harder. Push a little harder. Use your core as your shoulders get tired, guys. Come on. Almost there, 10 seconds. You can finish 10 seconds. Don't you dare stop at this point. Five seconds. Now move here, let's go. Slipping, 30 seconds. What's good about this too is that even slipping when you're gassed in a fighter if you're spurring can be so taxing, but if you're used to, you know, working into your VO2 max, getting some really high intensity work in, when you work that type of conditioning, eventually in your defensive piece, becomes a little bit easier because you've created more awareness on how to work under fatigue. So that again is the whole idea. You work even though you're tired. Round number three. Love what you guys are doing. We're working a one, two, one, two. Everyone knows that one. And a block right three and a block left two, all right? First up, one, two, one, two, max, go. Left, right, left, right, left, right, left, right. Left, right, left, right. Straight to the head. Break down the guard. Go through the guard. So I want you to rip that last right hand. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Right through. Halfway. Break the guard down. Ten seconds, break it down. Come on, you guys. Three, two, one. Block right, throw a left hook. Block left, throw a cross or a right hand. Go. Change direction a little bit. Keep your chin down, it's down your legs. Now see, I'm throwing a four here, but again, you can throw a two. You can throw that four to the body, to the head. Again, you don't have to do exactly what I'm doing, right? Let's go again, one, two, one, two, non, stop, go. Again, think about breaking your opponent down. You're not letting them see you get tired. Right now you can also think of using your offense as defense. You're punching continuously to keep them away from you, pushing them or forcing them into a defensive position as you go to work. Over halfway, come on. Fifteen seconds. Shoulders are lit here, your lats, your biceps. Sometimes you can almost taste your lungs, you're so gassed, but that's the beauty of this type of work. 30 seconds. 
block right three, block left two. So again, cross or hooks, whatever you want. Even when you throw that three across, it can be a body shot, a shot to the head, change it up. You maybe throw a double hook when you throw that block. Have fun with it. Now you start to settle into your workout. You start to feel really good and tired, but that's solid. Your body's warm. You're ready to go at a maximal pace. Hard as you can, one, two, one, two, go. As hard as you can, it's your last one before your next round. As hard as you can, come on. You can work outside or inside. I prefer outside, you get a little more stim out of this. Definitely more difficult. Most people tend to stay close because it's easier. So stay in that nice long range and throw that one, two, one, two. Halfway. Five seconds. All right, let's do it. Last 30 seconds with your block counter, block counter, come on. Almost there, five seconds. We're gonna tear it up for your next round. Give me a couple more. All right, round number four, here we go. With this one, you're gonna step left. So your one minute piece is you step left, three body, cross, step right, cross, hook, all right? Step left, three body, two, step right, two, three, all right? So you're working a three and a two in different variations, non-stop. Now this one, I want you to dig into the bag with power shots. Accuracy. Power. No choppy steps. Less than 30, 20 seconds. No choppy steps. Power, you're breathing solid. 10 seconds, a little less. Triple jab, 30 seconds. Now. Triple jab, you can work different angles. Obviously you can dip, throw that bad boy. You can throw a moving to the left, throw a moving to the right, body, head, head, body. You can throw a little shovel jab. If you're trying to pop the chin up. Change it, change it up. The jab is a serious weapon, so with every coach, every boxing coach, they want you always establish a solid jab because it is a weapon, all right? So think of it like that. Now back into your one minute piece, step left, three body, two, step right, two, three, power, go. Your opponent's on the ropes and you're making them pay. Make them pay. Finish the fight. A 
Less than 30. When you're pushing to the right, you push off the left foot. And then when you're pushing to the left, you push off the right foot. 10 seconds. Nice work, crew. Come on, push to the end. Beautiful. Let's go. Give me that triple jab once again. Triple jab. One, one, one. Triple jab. Now again, you'll hear, diff hear different people comment where it should be all the way back or halfway. It depends. You can throw it the jab a million different ways. Depends on what your intentions are. If it's a stiff jab, you throw it full range. All right, so mix it up. It's okay. Same, one minute. Hard as you can. Last set of these. Go. Rib cage. Head. That's where I start to get gassed a little bit. You guys inspired me to push through this workout. It was a harder one than normal. They're all hard, but today was especially hard. It's all good though. We do what we gotta do, always. 30 seconds. Fifteen seconds, push hard, come on, right to the end, you know the deal. Once you start, you finish. Five seconds. Let's go, thirty second piece, show me that triple jab. Mix it up, move around, keep that right hand up, stay on your legs, change direction. Five seconds. Round number five. Good work, guys. We're almost there. So here's a double right hand. Two to the body, then two to the head. And then it's just movements after that. We are almost home, all right? First up, body, head, right hand. Non-stop. These are all power. Put some dents in that heavy bag. Give me some range on these, you're getting in. Punishing the body and then punishing the head. Two, 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 full out. Good hip rotation, good trunk rotation, and still maintaining control. 30 seconds. It's one of my favorite combos, a two to the body, two to the head, because it is bad intentions. Use your abs when your shoulders get tired. If you think about it, you'll get really efficient at that. See, I start to get tired, but then I use my core to help increase my velocity. All right, movement, 30 seconds. Change direction. Play around with the bag a little bit. That's all it is. Play around. You're sizing up your opponent. Working from the outside. Five seconds. You'll see often when I move, I stick my jab out. I always think about just understanding range. How far is the heavy bag? How far is my opponent? Okay? One minute, two body, two head, let her rip.
Okay, push in crew. Come on, I want you to go right to the end with this combo. Yes, your shoulders and everything will get tired, but train it to be stronger, to gain more endurance. That's the idea. Learn to pull the trigger. Pop, pop. Pull the trigger, reload. Pull the trigger, reload. Pull the trigger, reload. Whip, return. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Movement, 30 seconds. You're thinking of different scenarios and just having fun. That's all it is. Get ready. One minute, two body, two head, last set. Maximum effort. Get it. On that body shot, right for the solar plexus. At the bottom of that rib cage, aim for that. You can hear I'm saying more in one place. Working on hip drive through the floor. And accuracy, when you're in one spot, you should be much more accurate. Thirty seconds. This is your last hard round, guys. This is it. So everything you have now for the last twenty seconds. This is your last hard round. Everything you have for the last fifteen seconds. Come on, you see I'm starting to get tired too. I'm looking at the clock, I'm tired, but I'm gonna push, drive, more, a little faster, a little harder. Four, three, two, one, movement, 30 seconds. Good job, guys. Move around. Know that you crushed this workout and this is it. get to recharge after this. Four, three, two, one. Time. Done. Beautiful work, crew. Thank you once again for training with me and much respect. All right, guys. I hope you loved that session. Like I said, for me, it blasted me. It was really hard for me to get through it, but you guys drug me through it, knowing that I helped push you through these sessions. They're made to be tough always so sometimes we all need a little bit of a kick that's just the reality of the fitness world all right so respect to you for getting it done now stay tuned for some wicked collabs from a new company that i'm working with i'm not going to tell you who it is you'll have to keep your eyes open um, to bring you guys some amazing workouts once again so be on the lookout for that also as always like subscribe subscribe and share and uh, leave your comments to let me know how this workout was for you guys Remember, I build these workouts according to what you guys want. You tell me what you want, what you like. Some of you guys out there know, you tell me what it is and I get it done. At least I try my best too, all right? Again, I hope you enjoyed the workout. Push that sub button and uh, let me know what you guys wanna see. And again, once again, mad respect for telling me how I push you guys through because today you pushed me through. I'll talk to you soon. I'll see you at the next workout. I'll show some amazing collabs coming up and we'll talk to you soon.